here you have a communication channel. So so you're specifying a target URL. This is the, the URL for where it should, should fetch the, the data and what are the data source uh, obviously you want to get so so this is what are the the, the the system that that is interacting with with this one the soap action that you define down here is a little relating to the the actions that you have in the ESR so if you have created a, a, a operation here or you have multiple operations they kind of relate to to actions um, whereas i think an action is defined as uh, so if we have this one we have our demo action if we want to reach this we would have to specify it uh, something like this so we'd have uh, either to use demo action just with that without any namespace or we would need to put in the namespace uh, for this uh, scenario. Um, so you would need to specify it um, some, something like this. So you have a, a, a namespace together with the, the action. And that is what what creates this uh, this difference. So most of the time, I would try without using soap action. But if if the service does not not respond or not not work the way I expect it to, I would uh, then try with with the actions. And I think the best way to do that would actually best just be to go to the 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 Vistal. Uh, and here you'd be able to see, um, I think it's down here in, in the operations, uh, what are the operations, and then you got the different uh, actions that is relevant for this, uh, this message. So I hope that helped about what the difference between target URL and so back. Then.